This is Twit. How do you edit and what's your workflow with 8K? It's got, we got it kind of down to a science. Uh, we have the new Mac Pros. Um, Wait a minute, you say, we always, you say that in plural? Uh, I have a couple, well, so behind me you can see there's a couple iMac Pros, which uh, the guys who work with me have set up. But when we move to the new studio, we will set up the Mac Pros that they will also be upgrading how, how, to. How many, and then they how, all, many Mac, how, how many Mac Pros are you going to have? Uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> Only four of us. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Okay, but it's. I hope it's, yeah, I hope our so. editors are not listening, guys. You're not getting Mac Pros. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Holy cow! But we wouldn't need Mac Pros if we didn't shoot this 8K. crazy yeah. i format yeah. stuff. Um, but it's working but yeah, with so 8K shoot. video on a Mac Pro about comparable to you know a normal, you know, two or 4K video. Uh, no, it's still pretty heavy. Uh. I've shot, whenever we shoot 4K anything, any machine I want to use just cuts right through it, no problem. It's just because it's red code raw, that specific wow. codec. It's not It's not just H.264, just 8K video. It's more than just the resolution. So when we, we get into that codec stuff and all that raw information, then it starts to really tax what? it. So, Forgive me, but why? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's definitely overkill, but it is a lot more about the fun of what we're able to make with that information than just like having more. Um, if all I did was like point the camera at myself and talk to it, I wouldn't need, you know, uh, much more than just like a, a typical DSLR. But because we do so much with motion graphics, that requires a lot more data points for tracking because oh, we do a lot wow. more with color correction. Oh, my and you God. get a lot into tweaking the red code and not just the color temperature, but like when you throw LUTs on there, all the sort of stuff, sorts of it adds up over time. So the more cinema focused of a camera you have, the easier it becomes, but also the more taxing it becomes on the computer. So yeah, it's a, a little lot, bit of a trade off. A lot more work and a lot more skill involved. Um, what, are you doing motion tracking because you have virtual sets? What are you doing the motion tracking for? Uh, it's just for smaller graphics and stuff. Sometimes I'll just point out, hey, this camera on the back of this phone has you know, this aperture and has OIS, and I'll just have a little little animation pop out to show you which one's which, little stuff like that. Um, you could do that with a lesser quality camera, but it, the, the better quality of the information going in, sure. the better quality of the tracking, the better quality of the final product. So. And you do it because you, you can... I mean, do you think it helps you, your your you? I mean, this is all for YouTube. You're yeah. not you're not showing in major theaters around the country or anything. This is no, no. This no, is no. all for YouTube. <laughs> but do you think that it it's it there's a benefit to it that one of the reasons you have ten and a half million subscribers is because of the quality? Yeah, it's it's not. So you can you can use the word quality, but I think it's more about it's. I think I'd call it a depth. Yes. Like it's harder to replicate and it's harder to. Uh, tie it in with all the rest. So there's a million people making tech videos now. Back when I started, when I just had one camera and one laptop and a desk, there were seven of us. And we all could do totally different things with our camera to talk about this new tech. But now a new Samsung phone comes out and there's what, 70 videos right. at once? Right. So which one are you going to watch? You're going to watch hopefully the best three before you've pretty much learned everything. So we try to do the best we can and a lot of that comes to, from pushing it to the limits and having those cool motion graphic effects and trying to be as precise as possible with our edits. So I think that's what it's turned into.